Congratulations to FedEx. Hey NASCAR fans, Scott Cole back with you. Hope you're having a great new year and more importantly, some great fast laps out on NASCAR Heat 3 as we're just a few weeks away from the deadline on January 15th. The good news is it's not too late to get involved. So if you just got NASCAR Heat 3 over the holiday, don't worry, there's plenty of racing to go on. Here's a refresher on how to get involved. First register at NASCARHeat.com, then load up the game and go to the eSports screen and start racing. It's that easy. Each week we'll be showcasing a driver based on your submissions at the hashtag eNASCARHeat. This week it's Ryan Wells, a former amateur race car driver from Fort Wayne, Indiana. So if you don't know me, my name is Ryan Wells. I'm from Indiana. I'm 27 years old. I'm obviously, like I just said, a huge NASCAR fan, but I also was uh, once an amateur race car driver for the in the Sports Car Club of America. But yeah, like I said, lifelong NASCAR fan. My first race ever was actually the 1998 Daytona 500. I was seven years old when I went to that and got to see Dale Earnhardt win his one and only Daytona 500. So that's that's awesome. One of my biggest uh, claims of fandom is that I was at that race as young as I was. And uh, hopefully come February, I can get drafted. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, let's take a look at this week's highlights based on your submissions of the hashtag eNASCARHeat. This week, there were so many to choose from. Here are our top three. Well, the holidays, some people were more naughty than nice going around these tracks. Here's New Hampshire where Dustin McGee 8 is out in the lead here in the last lap, but Mega Driver 24 is looking to the inside and maybe take the lead and maybe take this win away from Dustin McGee. But one thing that Mega Driver 24 forgot was Dustin McGee diving to the inside on the final turn, and they'll race all the way to the line. But it's a friendly love tap from Dustin McGee who gives him the win. Number two is Valley Racing 93, and he proves that miracles still happen on Christmas at Daytona as he splits two drivers in the final lap to overtake the number one spot. And you can see three drivers in his rearview mirror, including Dirty Worm Germ, but it's Valley Racing 93 that would hold on for the big win on Christmas Day. Valley Racing 93 is still one of the toughest to beat on Xbox. And our number one clip comes from Rabbit, who was able to hold off two of the best that we have in all of the eNASCAR Heat Pro League qualifications. That's right, Valley Racing 93 is door to door with Rabbit with a few laps to go out here in Chicagoland. And unfortunately for Rabbit, Valley Racing has a little bit of help from his buddy HD Motorsport as they continue to try to push it around this Windy City track. But it's Rabbit. He doesn't care if you got one friend, two friends, three friends. You got a couple buddies. He's a lone wolf. They call him the Rabbit. He's a wolf with just two laps to go. Valley Racing is going to make another run into turn one here. But Rabbit... Keeps staying to the inside, keeps holding his line ever so smooth, cooler than the other side of the pillow. And he's able to hold this top spot with just one lap to go, holding it down like a fat kid on a blanket. Goes below the white line there as the white flag comes out. Can Rabbit hold off Valley Race in an HD Motorsport just one more time? That's the big question here on Chicagoland, looking for a big win. This guy might be a sleeper pick when you think about the draft. Rabbit proving that he belongs in the final turns, and that's good enough to be your number one clip of the week. So remember to keep tweeting us using the hashtag eNASCARHEAT, and you might see yourself right here on the show. Next episode, we'll have some more drivers. We'll hear from the NASCAR teams as we get closer and closer to the deadline on January 15th, and of course, the upcoming draft in February. Hope you guys have a safe and happy new year, and I look forward to seeing you out there on the track.